Hi guys and welcome to this quick setup guide on how to prepare for your first attempt at the King's Fall raid on normal. This guide is just going to identify and outline 5 steps I advise you take before starting the King's Fall raid. The King's Fall raid has been out for a while now. Since Taken King was released, many many people have completed it. So really what you need is you want to go in with a little bit of experience or act like you've got a little bit of experience otherwise it will be very very difficult to find a team unless you've got five other friends that will do it with you so step number one you should do is you should reach 295 light the cap the start starting cap is 290 however that five extra light just gives you a little bit more defense a little bit more resistance to the enemies and helps you stay alive longer Number two, you should level your raid subclass. Everybody has a raid subclass. Hunters have the Night Stalker. Titans have the Defender. And Warlocks have their Sunsinger. The self res for a Warlock is very, very handy, especially on hard mode. But it can get you out of tricky situations where if you die at the wrong point, you can get back up again. Hunters, the Night Stalker for the Void um, Tether. Uh, obviously gives you bonus damage on bosses very very helpful for the rest of your team and for the Titan the bubble with weapons of light or lessons of light gives you that extra bit of protection or damage so you want to level them up you don't have to level them the right the way up but just enough so that you've got your basic attributes as you can see Night Stalker isn't actually my preferred subclass I've just leveled it up enough so that I can use it in the raid Step three is to get a high impact sniper. You should be finding your sniper, you should look at the impact on it and compare it to your other snipers that you may have. Black Spindle is perfect for this. This is the one you really want to go for. But if you do not have Black Spindle, um, a thousand yard stare and Arene RR4, both very high impact snipers, or the Steel Piercer, which is actually exclusive to the Hunter, you get it from doing the Gunsmith's quest. It also has very high impact and a decent rate of fire. Your sniper doesn't have to be necessarily that high a light, anything above 280 would be fine. As long as that impact stat is high, you'll be able to kill things such as knights in one hit and do a lot of damage to the bosses. Step 4, and this is a step that not, as not that many people think is important, but it is. And that is to find gear with that little perk on there, increase the amount of sniper rifle ammunition you can carry. If you can get this on two or more pieces of gear, this will give you 24 in reserve, well 20 if you can carry 4, rather than the 16 you normally have. This gives you a lot more hits on bosses before um, you run out of ammo, which for bosses like War Priest and Golgoroth really does make you stand out from people that only have 16 bullets, even if you are a lower light level. And step 5 is the simple and probably most obvious step is just learn the raid mechanics. Go to YouTube search for the bosses watch how they're done don't go in there not knowing what you're going to do because a lot of people that have been doing this raid since it came out will not have the patience for that unless you are you unless you say as you go into the raid that you are a new player and they're happy to have you you'll find that most people just want to get through the raid as quickly as possible on each reset so that's five steps that i believe you should take or before you even consider starting the king's full raid uh, if you're a beginner i strongly advise you take these steps uh, that's all for this video. It was nice and quick. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe or any comments put in the com comments box below. Thank you.